Hi, I'm Gary Sapier, and you're listening to Cigar and Whiskey with Yannick Terio. Hey folks, it's Nick from Cigar and Whiskey and uh, TDC Moncton. He's well known in the Maritimes, and he's also well known outside of the Maritimes. But to us and to you viewers, he's going to be known as Gary Sapier. <laughs> now, Gary, from what I remember, you're from the Tobik. Uh, band. Well, yeah, uh, Tobik uh, First Nation. Tobik First Nation. Yeah. Um, and you've been uh, playing blues for how long now? Uh, I've been playing blues on, on and off since uh, 2001, 2002. Uh, you know, I, I do really like to uh, um, uh, genre myself or stick myself in one kind of category. I'm all over the place. Uh, during my younger years, um, I was exposed to a lot of genres of music, whether it be classic rock, country, or, uh, you know, everything. You know, my grandparents raised me, so I was brought up with standard country, and then, you know, and then I, I, I suppose I progressed in the 80s with a heavy rock with Ted Nunes and April Wine, you know, all the Canadian icons, and then I kind of eased off with America uh, uh, and the Eagles, you know, stuff like that, the classic rock stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you know, I did make uh, uh, three or four albums uh, in, with the rock genre. But I soon found out that I was uh, liking a lot of blues, and I said, "Geez, I want to really make a blues album and see what happens." You know, so um, I just started writing, and uh, it didn't take me too long. And, uh, and away I went, and uh, found I had a product, product, and it was ready to go. And uh, uh, you know, I was really pleased with it, and we had a lot of good response from it, actually. So I said, I'll, I'll keep continuing uh, making uh, blues albums. Uh, when did you release the last blues album? Uh, it was the uh, 2006, I believe. Okay. Uh, I released my uh, fourth, uh, fifth album. And I just released, released my sixth album, uh, which is a mix, mix of blues, uh, also mixed with uh, some funk, which I heard tonight at the concert. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> like we're all over the board. I got some Pink Floyd stuff. That sounds like it, right? Like, but it's uh, you know, it's hard to, uh, and I hate that word. I don't hate it, but I just like the word genre because it just it just uh, puts you in a puts you in a in a little category, and I don't like that. I think the the, the modern musician is uh, uh, technology has made music available any, everywhere, so so many influences uh, would. Uh, would, uh, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is evident now in the younger people because even my kids are liking Pink Floyd, are liking uh, uh, Ted Nugent and Abel Wine, and they're listening to this stuff, so they're, uh, uh, the music is all over the place now with, with the younger musicians. And the 70s thing is kind of coming back, and, uh, 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 but it's just, it's just all over the place, and, and I'm glad it is because uh, music is... Uh, it's a universal thing. I think it, uh, I like to connect to people. Uh, you know, if you, if you can connect to one person in the audience doing your performance, I think you're doing your job. I think you're doing your job good if you can connect to people. And uh, you know, I enjoy performing. Uh, I enjoy uh, uh, I enjoy the limelight. You know, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So uh, you've been. The blues wasn't your first thing. You went naturally into that and are starting to do it more and more often. Right. But uh, I'm, now I'm just starting to progress into some funk. Uh, you know, I'm, where I live, I'm bombarded by uh, American radio stations. So uh -huh. I'm listening to uh, uh, Bruno Mars. And, and what my, you know, I have a 12, 14 year old daughter and a five year old daughter. So I'm listening to Barney. I'm listening to, uh, you know, everything else in between, right? Mm -hmm. so, so these songs stick in my head, you know, which is which also helps me songwriting. I was I listen to their music because hmm, there's, there's a little hook that I need to uh, put in, <laughs> into my song, right? So and my grandma was, was a kindergarten teacher, so she used to tell me a lot of repetition in lyrics will get you that hook. I said, thanks, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen to your grandma out there, by the way. <laughs> so you've I know that you're. Mostly the main vocals, right? I, yeah. Uh, but you also play guitar, right? Uh, any other instruments that you've been uh, actually 
uh, engaging to try and play, or that are uh, your I, I, I play piano, uh, bass, and, and drums. I started off as drums when I was uh, 12 years old in my dad's band. Uh, I started at age probably six or seven. Uh, and I bought the, the first Sears kit, drum kit. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> Watch this, Grandma, I can drum, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And I played it with my Ted Nugent album downstairs. And I was see the hard out. Who's crying downstairs? <laughs> so there's nobody crying. It's Ted Nugent, Graham. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, she'd say, who's crying? I said, it's Ted Nugent. Damn. Said, Let me play my drums. Shut up up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, that's how it started. Uh -huh. And I played to the uh, to the rock album. Remember the K Tell Presents? The rock oh. album. Remember that? Don't bring me down. <laughs> I'd be like, you know, but that's how I started with the uh, boom boom chick, I guess. So, anyways, from that I, I, I had to go progress to a Charlie Pride playing my dad's band because uh -huh. it was a country band. One time I fell asleep in Woodstock playing <laughs> country. <laughs> True story, road story. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So uh, right now the band is, the, the band members that you have with you for tonight's venue and uh, the Harvest is, is it the same band that you've been with since you started the Gary Sadie No, I use, I use different positions. I have, probably have two or three of everybody. Yeah. So whoever, whoever is available, because uh, it's really hard to keep a band uh, per se uh, together. Uh, I know people are very busy. Um, I hire out professionals. Uh, and uh, you know, it makes my job a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you know, these guys are uh, at the top of their game, uh, at the top of their instruments. They uh, they're all good people. We all get along. And uh, you know, they, and those guys are in, they're also in different groups as well, right? In Moncton, but they all you know help each other. And, so in tonight's setup, uh, mm -hmm. who's on what doing? I got Alan Dowling on the drum kit. Alan is from. Prince Edward Island, Charlottetown. Uh -huh. He is the uh, he's in charge at Holland College of the uh, music program at Holland College. Oh, nice. Uh, he's a Berkeley uh, graduate, Boston. Uh, we've got Tom Moulton, smoking Tom Moulton, <laughs> from Toby Reserve, formerly of Florida, of uh, Port St. Lucie, Florida. He left the reserve uh, 28 years ago, and he came back. I don't know why he came back. <laughs> Anyways, he's back playing guitar. Lead guitar tonight, uh, Byron Simon. I got him on bass. He's from Elsie Booktick, which is by Moncton. Uh, Byron is, uh, is a prolific bass player, probably one of the best players in Canada. Uh, you'll see tonight. He's a very uh, gifted player. He plays for everybody in Moncton. Everybody I know knows Byron, and he's he's played with played with people that I know like one time or, or three times or four times. Mm -hmm. He's been uh, he's been a staple in my band for a long time, and uh, he's uh, he's by far the best uh, player I've ever had. Uh, Terry Hume works for Yamaha Canada, Atlantic Division. He's my keyboard player. He sells uh, keyboards and uh, winded instruments. Winded wind instruments. Mm -hmm. I'm almost getting winded myself. All right, yeah, uh, yeah. He uh, he does he sells that, and uh, finally, how many is that, Terry? Anybody? Myself. So I play, I play guitar, lead guitar, and I lead sing, and uh, my left foot does the harmony, the harmony pedal. Oh, okay. So you're using the effects to give you harmony. Yeah, it's like a, it's called the VE20 Roland, and it's uh, it's an effects pedal. I'll be using it tonight live. So I'll be <laughs> going like this. But look, I'm, I'm not step dancing. I'm just changing pedals, right? <laughs> so <laughs> there's no step dancing to blues. Well, you'd be surprised <laughs> nowadays. Um, now, apart from the influences that you went through, because off camera we we were discussing that you've been touring often uh, in the last few months. Yeah. And that you have four children. Yes. So you're a busy dad. Busy dad. Trying really busy. to trying to do his thing in regards to music, but right. is it more of a career for you? Gary? It is a career now. You know, I just changed changed over from what I was doing before. Uh -huh. you know, so it's probably the best thing I've ever did. I feel better. My wife supports me 200%, uh -huh. and just lets me do basically. Uh, you know, who go and do my work, who do my thing. Uh, 
But you uh, the kids, uh, the kids, uh, I involve the kids all the time. If I'm on tour, I, I take them with me, you know, to give her a break. And, uh, and uh, you know, they, you know they're, they're old enough that they can, you know, watch each other. And, and uh, you know, they have a few squabbles there, but, you know, what brothers and sisters do. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, and they are, are some of them are always on the uh, side of the stage watching. So that's how, that's how it starts. <laughs> so you went through some small challenges in regards to trying yeah, to balance yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I guess, yeah. You know, one time, you know, some, you know, you're playing, uh, you're playing some bars and stuff. But, but nobody really appreciates your music that you write because, you know, people are, uh, you know, they're consuming alcohol. And, you know, they're there to hear mostly cover songs, a song that they, you know, play something we know. <laughs> right? But, uh, um, after a while, uh, you know, you started to, uh, uh, to believe, uh, have more confidence, to believe in yourself, and uh, and to believe in what you do, believe in what you write, believe in what you play, and uh, it, uh, you know, it just started to, just started to, uh, you know, I used to call to get gigs, but now they're calling me. So, yeah, oh, yeah, I don't have to. Uh, anyway, I hired an agent, and I really didn't need her because I wasn't really calling her; they were calling me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So I said, well, you know. Um, now, you know, he's taken me all over the world. Uh, I played in uh, Dubai, you know, which is probably the richest country in the world. Uh, I had a chance to spend a couple weeks there playing, performing for government officials, uh, U.S. Army, Canadian Army, the New Zealand Army, and Australia, probably all the people of NATO. Uh, I had a chance to go to uh, the front lines. I actually volunteered <laughs> for uh, front lines uh, playing in Afghanistan and Kabul. Kandahar, and um, we started in Trenton, Ontario, and we uh, flew over 30 hours on a plane. <laughs> it was a long time, and I don't like to fly. I think I was the only one up in a plane with my eyes were wide open like this, and everybody was sleeping, right? <laughs> but it was fun, you know, I, I made the best of it. We hit Amsterdam for eight hours. That was quite an uh, eye-opener, <laughs> right? <laughs> But uh, yeah, and uh, I just got married uh, two uh, two days before I flew off. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. yeah, my wife probably thought I was going to come back, so she said, "Well, I better marry you. At least I'll be married." And I'll be... <laughs> so I get some kind of compensation. <laughs> she was She's smart. Yeah, she was prepared. Uh, well, but tonight... they don't give insurance to uh, war zones. Remember that. We're trying to. Yeah. Well, tonight you're not going to be playing in the war zone. No, I won't be. Not in St. Mary's Zone. Come over, it'll be okay. <laughs> Tobikers? Yeah. And, uh, well, I hope I'm I wish kidding. you the best for tonight. Right on. Uh, are, you guys, are you guys coming by? Yeah. Well, well, I will. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, We're going to have fun. We're, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, I'm just, I've been stoked for this. Probably one of the biggest uh, 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 performances in my career. Plus, I rarely got the last time I played Fredericton was probably 2008. I produced the ECMA show at uh, across the river. Um, the place not open anymore, but uh, uh, we did the uh, yeah. That's the last time I played here, and I never got to play the uh, Harvest Jazz and Blues. Well, there but I'm, you looking, go. I'm looking forward to it. I'm stoked. Uh, I'm ready to uh, lock cock and. Ready to rock. <laughs> See you tonight. Oh, thank you, Gary, for the this fabulous interview. <laughs> right on, man.